Uh, we uh, re-enter the uh, paint skin weights tool. I've got a shortcut here in one of my shells, and yeah, it can be it can stay like before. Add opacity one, value one. And let's just start painting on the left side. So here, right, but it's the left half of the face and just paint it here right out white with the value of 1 and it doesn't need to be very very clean right now uh, it's just to showing and as most of you might know, skin painting, uh, weight painting is a terrible, terrible thing. It takes a lot of time and effort, and it's part of the job that I don't like very much. All right. Now if we move forward in the time we can see how it works or yeah for me it looks alright for now. Maybe we'll take a bit off right here so we get we'll go back to the root joint, paint over here with the uh, value of one and that will have to it that here it's uh taken away from the one value. Alright, uh, here we got some penetration going on, but I guess it's not that not that important right now. Now we are just gonna mirror the uh, skin weights we've just painted, go skin, edit smooth skin, mirror skin weights, um, mirror across y and z axis, yeah because Z is here, Y is there, and we want to mirror the right or left half, uh, this half over there. Closest point on surface is okay for now, closest joint in one to one. Uh, I select these and normalize and click mirror. And now with the scrub in the time slider, yeah, it looks a bit creepy, but yeah, it'll work. So now we go back to Edit Smooth Skin, Paint Skin Weights tool with the option box and just smooth it out a bit. Go to Smooth here in the Paint Operation, Opacity 1, just press Flood and Flood maybe three times. So it'll have smoother borders right here. Yeah, and it doesn't seem, it doesn't look that bad right now. It's not good, I, I wouldn't use this for a production animation, but for just showing you how to get where we want to get. It'll be enough. Okay, next thing to do is give the guy the teeth back. Uh, the upper teeth stay in place. The bottom teeth we will add a skin weight also. So select the root joint, select the bottom teeth, go to skin, bind, skin smooth, bind, just like before. Now um, paint these here. Uh, flood the root again with full and then go to draw 3 and flood this with full. Now the teeth should follow. Okay, so far so good. Now let's uh, let's bring in the audio. First of all I've recorded an audio clip just to uh, just to check it out before um, I'm uh, right now working on my home Windows PC at work. I have to work with uh, Mac OS X and I found out that under OS X Maya 2012 um, uses MP3s or is better with MP3s and under Windows uh, WAV files work. I don't understand why but it seems to be like that and it's one of the thousands and thousands of strange things Maya does. Uh, Alright, now we have here our WAV file. 
uh, we can select this and middle mouse drag it just right here in the timeline of our uh, currently open Maya scene. Now as you can see here in the timeline you can see the waveform of, uh, of the audio. Uh, what we should do is delete all keys on the uh, on the handle here um, delete selected and now there's no more animation if you play that back you should hear uh, the hello audio. there this is a speaking test if you can't hear that you gotta check right here in the animation preferences and look playback and playback speed must be real-time 24 frames per second to um, play back the audio. Weird thing in Maya, don't understand it, it's like this. Accept it. Alright. Now I hope I haven't forgotten anything to set up. I guess not. Alright, now let's use the audio file. And let's go to bonus tools, create utility nodes, create audio wave node. This creates us this node which can handle or which reads out an uh, audio wave input as a, um, an audio file and gives us the amplitude back as a value between minus one and plus one so that we can use to drive something in our my Maya scene. Alright, first of all I'm gonna name this audio wave speaking test it's just uh, good to have a nice naming convention even if you're just working alone for yourself if you open a project after a year or two again you'll thank yourself later okay first of all we got a um, input here something and the input is um, the time uh, this audio speaking, uh, this audio wave node needs uh, a specific point in time to evaluate again. So um, Maya has already a timer or a time component in every scene. So let's open up our hypershade. Uh, you can go window rendering editors hypershade and. First of all, we select our audio wave node. Uh, it should be still selected, so we go here on this icon, input and output connections, and now we've got our audio wave speaking test node down here. Now, the next thing we need is the time, so we go to our outliner, which can be found under Window Outliner. Uh, go to Display, DAG Objects Only, uh, remove the the check mark if you have one so that will uh, show all the objects in the scene that you normally uh, don't uh, access by hand or need to access so we will look for time yeah we found the time and now we middle mouse drag it down here in the work area of the hypershade now let's select uh, the time, middle mouse drag it over to the audio wave input output connections go to other here we got an out time that just gives us the current time and this we will patch through to input in our audio wave speaking test node alright next we have to uh, give the, uh, the URL to our audio file in our file system to the audio wave node I've prepared it and uh, I'm working in a Maya project as you should um, I got the speech tutorial and as in every Maya project you have these uh, predefined folders and in the sound I've put our speaking test dot wave so I'll just copy the URL to the folder and speaking test dot wav. All right. And if you press enter and no red error in the script window out here appears, 
it has found the audio file and it seems to work. Okay, scale is mm, a value which scales the output of the audio amplitude between uh, minus one and plus one. And sample size defines a uh, value how many times, uh, how many samples the audio wave uh, node uses to calculate the uh, the amplitude of the current frame. I hope I've described it right. It's uh, documented in the bonus tools help file, which can be found on the bonus tools help, bonus tools help. All right. Uh, we get to the sample size later. Now we have to hook up our. I'm sorry. We have to hook up our um, audio wave node to the uh, translation of um, our jaw or jaw controller, which is uh, the audio driven one. So we select that one. 